What if Goku was born a Majin Saiyan? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 14? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on What If Goku Was Born a Majin Saiyan, we mentioned that Goku has now got the news that Lord Zeno wanted to see him. As he went and made his way towards Zeno and when Zeno saw him, Zeno then told Goku about everything that's happening and that he wants to hold like something called the Tournament of Power. Goku then tested his skills against destroyers as he managed to go and easily beat them and now it was time for Goku to go and gather up fighters since the universe that they'll win the Tournament of Power will be erased. Upon gathering his fighter, Goku was now ready to go and enter the Tournament of Power, as Universe 7 has now entered and they were known to be the powerhouse, since you do have Goku, Vegeta, Broly, and even Majin Buu along with Gohan on your side. With that, the tournament has begun as everyone began attacking one another. Goku has stumbled across a very strong fighter known as Jiren the Great, as his power level was off the chart, and when Goku started to fight him, he then went and used his Super Saiyan God power but he didn't stand any chance against Jiren until Goku went and used his Super Saiyan Blue. But upon using that, Jiren still went and overpowered Goku, showing him the difference between his power and Goku's. But Jiren, on the other hand, has now displayed his training to the whole world, as he finally went and unleashed a power known as Ultra Ego, since he was fighting another mortal who also trained with a destroyer named Topo, and when he tapped into his destroyer mode, Vegeta did the same, but his Ultra Ego was far stronger than Topo. Find out what happens inside this part, as you got both Goku and Vegeta going all out. If Goku was born a Majin Saiyan, Part 14. Goku has now used his Ultra Instinct power, while Vegeta has now gone and used his form called Ultra Ego. Jiren was impressed with Goku's power and said, You won't stand a chance against me though, using only that. Just like you, I have also trained with my angel. Oh wow. Okay then, let's see who would win this battle. I'm not gonna let you win this tournament, Jiren. My universe is at stake, so is mine. As Goku went and he rushed right towards Jiren and striked him in the face, Jiren flew meters away as he tried to get up but he saw that Goku went and kneed him right in his guts and started to attack him. Jiren was getting a beat by Goku while Goku went and he powered up a massive Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards Jiren. But once when the wave hit Jiren, everyone heard a loud explosion as the blast got dispersed and they saw Is that all you got, Goku? Here, I thought that you'll be able to beat me with that power, but you failed to do so. What? His power has just increased tenfold! What is he? Even at Ultra Instinct, he was holding his own against me. This might be trouble if I cannot beat him inside this form. While that was happening, Vegeta has now used his Ultra Ego power as everyone couldn't believe the amount of energy surging from him, as of all witnessing Vegeta's Ultra Ego power for the very first time. With that, Vegeta went and decked Topo across his face as he got sent flying but Vegeta followed him and he striked him again, getting Topo to send flying out of the arena. With only two hit, Vegeta managed to go and end Topo's career, who was known to be one of the strongest mortal from Universe 11, while everyone else was completely stung by seeing Vegeta's power. Vegeta then saw that Analaza was attacking everyone recklessly, so he decided to go and aid everyone as he went and strike Analaza from the back but it wasn't enough. Analaza went and powered up a massive blast, strong enough to destroy the entire arena, but Vegeta stood his ground as he went and he powered up a final flash. As he aimed his final flash towards Analaza's attack, getting his attack to be dispersed and he got hit by Vegeta's attack, being sent out of the arena and now he has been eliminated. Majin Buu was holding his own against Kefla as she went and tried to use her Super Saiyan 2 power making sure that she'll do everything he can to put an end to words Majin Buu, but Buu continued to attack her. He then went and powered up a Kamehameha wave and aimed it towards Kefla, as she couldn't handle it and she got eliminated 
At the same time, Gohan went and he knocked Hit out. Vegeta saw that Goku was getting ass beat by Jiren, as he was witnessing for the very first time Jiren's power and he had no idea someone was able to be this strong. While Jiren went and continued to punch Goku in his face, even inside his Ultra Instinct. Out of nowhere, Vegeta has arrived as he went and strike Jiren right in the guts. Jiren then looked down as he saw that it was Vegeta and from there Vegeta went and rushed right towards him while Jiren got up and did the same and both of their power clashed with one another. Vegeta was holding his own against him as he began to slowly overpower Jiren inside his Ultra Ego form. With that, Jiren saw that Vegeta was kicking up a notch as he decided to do the same and they were going at it but Goku went and headbutt Jiren getting to fall towards the ground. When Jiren fell down, he saw that Goku and Vegeta were both standing over him looking towards him as he smiled and said, <laughs> You think this will stop me? You don't know what kind of power I have. Let me display to you guys. Jaren has now gone and used his limit breaker, as everyone was able to sense his tremendous power that was surging from him, who had God Key since he did have God Key. Training with Margarita allowed him to tap into that, but with this power even Goku and Vegeta shook a little bit, as they had no idea just how strong Jaren is. But Vegeta being very confident with his power laughed and said, <laughs> Don't think going all buff is going to make you strong, I Prince Vegeta will still… Before he can say another word. Vegeta got decked right in the face by Jiren, getting to be sent flying meters away. Vegeta got up but saw that Jiren came right next to him and he started to attack him non-stop, while Goku's body began to create a lot of heat. As he went right towards Jiren and when he tried to hit him, Jiren went and elbowed Goku, but Goku managed to go and instantly dodge the attack. As he went and threw Jiren towards the ground and Jiren saw that Goku's body was heating up and from there Goku went and let out a scream. <laughs> Goku has now finally did it as he managed to go and master his Ultra Instinct. This is Master Ultra Instinct Majin Goku. Vegeta was getting a beat from Jiren as he had no energy but he tried his heart to stand up towards Jiren. But when he saw Goku, he saw that Goku looked completely different while Goku stared towards Jiren and said, Let the battle begin Jiren. Goku went and struck Jiren right in his face getting him to gasp for air and from there he went and kicked him across his stomach, getting Jiren to be sent flying towards the rock. Goku then followed as Jiren got up and from there he went and powered up and he rushed towards Goku and both of them were attacking one another. Their battle was very intense, Jiren did everything he can to hit Goku, but Goku instantly dodged each and every one of his attack like if they were just child's play for him. Seeing that he was not able to hit Goku got Jiren very frustrated as he was wondering just how much stronger has Goku has gotten with this new form. And each time Jiren managed to go and land a decisive blow towards Goku, Goku would just go and regenerate due to the fact that he is a Majin and it got him to be even stronger. As he continued to dodge Jiren's attack and from there he went to the offense mode. He went and started to attack Jiren. Goku went and punched him in his face, kicked him towards the ground and picked him up and threw him across the floor. As Jiren landed towards the rocks and he saw that Goku went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards Jiren. Jiren tried hard to dodge the attack but he saw that Goku came right through the wave as he went and uppercut Jiren, getting to be sent flying high in the air and he came right behind him and decked him right in his back as Jiren got sent flying out of the arena and he has now lost the battle. Goku who finally managed to go and master his Ultra Instinct has finally won the battle as he managed to show who is the real powerhouse here and he put an end towards the tournament of power. But one thing everyone noticed was that each universe that had been eliminated, they have not been erased. And since Universe 7 is the last universe standing, they were supposed to receive the Super Dragon Balls. Once when Goku went right back to his base, everyone noticed something weird, as all the angels weren't there along with Zeno has left early too. Goku and the rest were shocked to see that, as they tried to see where the Super Dragon Balls were, but they also noticed that everything was gone. It was just the destroyers in all the universe fighting and watching the battle. 
Just when they got very confused and started to do some investigation, out of nowhere, they saw a group of people has now arrived right in front of the tournament as they have appeared with the Super Dragon Balls. All the destroyers and everyone else were very confused as they had no idea who they are until this one evil warrior came and said, It is time we go in with the plan. What do you say? Yes, you're right. Let's bring him back. Huh? Who are you guys? Let me do the honors. Broly? What the? You were just here. How'd you end up being there? With that, everyone saw the Super Dragon Balls begun to glow as it's now gone and summoned the Super Dragon. It is time we bring back the great Yamoshi. Our plan is going just like what we planned. Time to get rid of all those mortals. We have already got rid of Zeno and the angels by sealing them away. And now it's time to bring back him. Him? What plan? What are you guys trying to do? We must stop them at any cost. Beerus went and he tried to Hakai hearts, but before he can, Cumber went and he one-shot Beerus towards the ground. Being all confused on what's going on, they then saw that the Super Dragon has come, as Heart went and he wished for Yamashi, the legend of the Saiyan, to be brought back. As the Super Dragon went and he granted that wish, and now they saw Yamashi, the very first Saiyan, has come back. Well done guys, I see you finally managed to bring me back. It's time for the multiverse to know the truth about who Yamashi is. Lord Yamashi, it'll be a pleasure having you to be my master. Can I please serve you in your crusade? And if it isn't you, Cumber, and of course you can. Our project has now begun. Let's start with destroying all the destroyers, and then we'll do it with the angels. Over my dead body! Goku has now transformed into his Master Ultra Instinct. I see you finally decided to show your true form, huh Goku? I see you know who I am. Alright then, let's see if you can fight me in this state. What is going on? Where did all the angels and Zeno himself has gone? Hart said that he has sealed them away, but where did he seal them? All of this will be answered in the next episode of the finale of What If Goku Was Born A Majin Saiyan. Make sure you click the bell, my Z fan, and so you'll be the first one when the next episode comes out. And if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it so you could become one of the first Z fighters.